I never in a million years thought I was going to get that call. My son asked me, he said, Dad, do you know what happened to you? And I, I shook my head no, and he told me you were, you were in an explosion. It ripped my shoes and socks off. My wallet It was totally destroyed. He was hit with uh, 4,000 pounds of pressure. I didn't recognize him when I first seen him. I didn't. He was covered from head to toe in shrapnel. It did break nine, nine bones in my body. I had to spend nine weeks in the hospital. After his accident, he was on the ventilator for quite some time, um, very debilitated. And so while he was here, we tried to build up his respiratory muscles, build up his strength. Speech therapy helped him talk again, and we helped him breathe again. Once we were able to get rid of his trach, give him his freedom back again, um, he was able to transition to the rehab hospital. George is a musician, played since he was in high school. Our primary care physician, he said, first thing when he gets there, you bring his guitar to him. He needs his guitar. That's what George is. Every time he'd walk in, all the patients, other patients would want to come and listen. I was playing on that thing every day just to get my strength back. By then, he knew, and I knew, that he was, he was going to come out of this. Including music and instruments was really important for Mr. Dyer. Um, one, because of him just being able to play again and get back to something he loved to do, but two, we can incorporate instruments and therapy for neuro recovery and also uh, just for basic sitting tolerance. The people here made it easier for him. He blossomed. All of the different things that was taken away from me and then they slowly came back, it was, it was fun. It was to get these things back. It was such an amazing experience to see Mr. Dyer not only go back home, but continue to do the things that he loved to do. It was touch and go for a long time. I was really scared George's fault to come back. I'm lucky in the fact that he is back with me. I've, I've always had a positive attitude that I, I would overcome this. You look forward to seeing them every day. They look forward to you coming in their door every day, and that's huge. You go home thinking about these people and just hoping for their recovery and to hear a good story like Mr. Dyer's at the end of the day. It makes it worth it. God wasn't finished with George. He had something else he has to do. Call it what you want, but I believe in miracles because I'm married to one. Kendrick gave him back to me.